Hey, 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 what is going on, guys? Welcome to the world of Aesilk. As you can see, I am finally, after so much work, my city has been fully optimized. And, uh, traffic, traffic wise, it's, it's not that bad. There's some few red spots here and there, but not, not as the same extent before. So, let me go over the changes I made to this city because there was a lot of changes I had to make uh, since last episode I worked on this for a good three hours I think but I think it's all solid okay so I decided I wanted to have one main avenue I wanted to have one main avenue going down the whole city so as you can see this one avenue spans the entire city, which is really nice. People can go from point A to point B in the most convenient way possible. Now there's also um, sub-avenues right here. As you can see, to be honest, let's see. I think I should upgrade this to a six lane. I think that will accommodate traffic a lot better. Okay. Cool, cool. So as you can see, <clears throat> there's two sub lanes here. One over here, one over here. They both uh they both deviate from the highway. So basically how I had this set up. This little junction here, it's a one way only onto the highway. So people won't be coming off from this highway. If people were to be coming from this highway into the city from here, I will cause a lot of traffic, so I just made this a one way one way uh, into the highway. But however, these two junctions right here, these are uh, from the highway to the city, and this one is working quite well. You know, not a lot of traffic on this one, which is really nice. However, this one over here, this one's having some problems. Uh, it's it's getting a bit backed up. You know, I really don't understand why. Well, everyone is using this uh, this road or this highway instead of this one or people are coming from here instead of here to be honest that to me that's just really stupid because this is a lot closer and it's less traffic and it can handle traffic a lot better than this but still everyone's using this one see every everyone is uh traveling from their cars towards this way so I think what I'm gonna do I'm just, I'm just gonna delete some roads here so people take this road because barely anyone uses this mm. oh, whatever I'll fix that a bit later uh, but uh, I added another train station over here so First of all, let's uh, let's hook this train station up. I fixed this line to make it mo look more flush, as you can see. It looks a lot better. It flows a lot nicer. Oh yeah, and and this highway as well. This highway. This this used to be all elevated, and I I reverted it back to a ground highway because I think it just looks better that way, and it it can function a lot better that way. But anyway, uh, we need to connect this train station up. Now that our city is running really big, I'm, I'm starting to uh, get big frame rate hits, you know. When I first started out this region, or this city, I was getting like an average of 60 frames per second. But now, now after all this is being added, uh, my frame rate dropped to around 50. No, not 50, my bad. 20. 15. Right now it's 15 frames per second, which is really really bad oh, but, but what can you do okay so I think I'll have this run out like this cross in like this and then run over like so Oh, that's not gonna work. Hold on. 
is this connected by the power grid? Yes, it is. Okay. So this line is not needed. Something like that. And let's turn this thing on. Great, nice. Uh, I did have a metro station around here. I think I'm going to move it to be positioned in front of the train station. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, hold on. Got to delete this tunnel. And then add this tunnel. Like so. And then we can take the line and add another stop. Oh wait, we need to add a stop here. Add two stops. And so that way we have a flush little thing, train station, in front of a subway station. And um, in order to help out the pedestrians of this area, we're going to add pavement paths um, from one end to another, like so. I really like pedestrian paths. Which is going to be the focus of this episode. We're going to be playing around with uh, pedestrian paths. Because these things are really cool looking. Especially the elevated ones. I really like the way they, uh, they perform. So like that. And we'll do the same thing on this side. So, and there we go. Nice little bridge pedestrian path from the metro station to the train station. So, um, yeah, I guess that is that. Oh yeah, one more thing. We need to take this train station. We need to add the line for the train station. So we're going to add a stop here. Gonna drag it over here, add a stop. And we're gonna add a stop. There you go. Like that. So now the train will be running cross town into the industry area. I also wanna have a train station run through here, but that's that's in the near future. Okay, let's see, we need some water. Well, I guess here it's fine. Electricity, that's good. I started adding um, a sewage a plant over on this side of the lake because if it's only on this side, it's just gonna make only one side of the water purple. Might as well have the whole, uh, might, might as well have all of the water be purple. I'm kind of worried that uh, I might deplete this region's resources here in a bit because this water it's not going to stay around forever. You know what? I think I'll I think I'll move this uh, a bit more upstream. So, like right here. So that way, it it draws from a, a fresh source of water. Um, I think we'll just add a wind turbine over here just to power it because I don't feel like running power lines everywhere. Okay, so uh, as I said before, this episode we're going to be creating pedestrian paths for our citizens to walk towards, to walk on, rather. Now, that might be a big, a, a bit of a feat because we need to know where the pa pedestrians want to go, obviously, uh, from point A to point B, but... What I do know is that we're going to use elevated pedestrian paths, and that way it'll, it'll look really nice. So uh, let's let's start out since we already have this little 
thing going with this one road. I think we're going to add a pedestrian path. Actually, we should have a pedestrian path uh, originating from the train station. As you can see here, I've added two metro stations. So this is kind of like, well, you can say this is a, a transport hub for in, in inside the city. So this is going to be our uh, transport hub for the entire region. But this is uh, the transport hub for inside the city, as we can see. I've added a bus station, two metro stations, and the way these two metro stations behave is really interesting. So I have, uh, I have like one section of the city uh, hooked up to this one train station, and another section of the city hooked up to this other train uh, metro station. So basically, people can take the metro station to this one. They can, they can walk. Uh, around to this metro station go where they needed to go or they can use the bus or a train so lots of options for mass transit for the people in the city now the only missing gap I have here is um, the only gap I have is uh, pedestrians walking from point A to point B so that is what we're gonna fix today so first of all I think we'll, we'll have a a road, a floating road here at the top. Although we need a little slope so people can get up first. So we'll have it go like that uh, for now, and we should have this run. Although I don't know why. I mean, it's a cemetery. Okay. Uh, should have it run a bit lower like that. Okay, um, let's see here. We could take this, run it through here. I wanna, so, so basically you get the general idea of what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make a system where pedestrians can walk from their houses to the train station without using a car or without um, without uh, you know crossing the street or anything you know trying to make the lives of my pedestrians as efficient as possible so I think that's good in that end uh, we could have this run. There's a lot of pedestrians here. So we could start from ground zero, uh, elevate it up to here, and we can hook it up to this little bit right here. Yeah, as you can see, there's still there's already a good amount of people starting to use this thing. Uh, now that I think about it, I should uh, change this from floating to pillars because if we it just looks if it's just floating, it looks a bit weird. Not saying that it's bad or anything, but it just it just looks off. If you just have random floating pillars everywhere. Space already occupied. Alright, this is where we need to use floating. Overlap. Can we overlap this? Does this even work? I don't understand how this works. Uh, it looks like this road right here is a bit crooked, which is why this is not working as intended. But I think that's good. Uh, although, we gotta get rid of this tree popping up. And this tree. That's the problem with using uh, the overlap tool, is uh, you get trees. Actually, this is really not needed. Well... I guess it, it helps for people trying to get to the train station, but whatever. Enough of that. Um, 
looks like this is working out quite well. Uh, one area where I want this to go is over over here because this is kind of like the tourist hub of the city. As we can see, we have like Leviathan, we have the transport tower, sea and skyscraper, the stadium. This is kind of like the tourist hub. Uh, the cathedral, we should turn this on. And so uh, I want people to be able to easily access this through the pavement paths. So we'll, first of all, we'll draw a line there. Um, although, hold on, it would help if I use collide instead of overlap. That way the trees don't get in the way, which is really nice. Okay, we'll draw a pavement path going there. And make this floating. Have an elevated pavement path run alongside this train line here, which is which I think will look pretty nifty. It'll look a bit weird because we'll just have a floating path throughout our city, but who cares, you know, screw logic. Logic doesn't apply in this clay in this case. Okay. And we need to connect these two things up. Uh, like so. And that is that. So now we have a cool little... Alright, let's see. I just want to see. Oh. Come on, get work with me. All right, first person mod. Even though our frame rate drops to around six frames per second, I really don't care. So when we're down here, what does it look like? Yeah, that looks that, that, that looks pretty cool. I, I'd say if you were a. Uh... All right, we're we're gonna try something here. We're gonna be. Oops. No, no, no. We're gonna follow this car. Man, why is this so laggy? I I don't know why. I really hope they optimize this game a bit better. This aging system. Um, let's let's uh let's let's follow this car. Let's be in the shoes of this one car and see how it looks. Okay, we we just rear-ended someone. Man, this guy needs to take drivers out again for another six months and reapply his driver's license because he just rear-ended this guy for no reason. It really looks nice. I, I really like this mod, this first-person mod, because when you're driving in in your in your city, it it really adds to the immersion of the game. It looks really nice. Okay, cool. So that's that. I th I really like it. Although for now, not a lot of people are using it, but uh, people will in time. Okay. Um, we need to add a pedestrian path over here, like so, and then. We'll connect it up over here, um, so people will hopefully start using that as well. Uh, especially from from this area right here, because yep, there we go. Now people are using this. Sweet. All right, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. People are walking. Ooh, what is this? Is there a conglomerate going on around here? Oh, this is a high school. Okay. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. I'm just like, why are people gathered around in front here? Um, I think we'll we'll. I want to use tree paths, tree roads, because tree roads they look really, they look nice, and people don't park on tree roads. So is this a bus stop right here? Yes, this is a bus stop. Sweet. Look at all these kids and people walking through and forth. I like it. I like it. Man, can we can we follow? Can we can we become one of these people? Oh yeah, we can. Oh, that is so cool. Let's just let's just sit here and and just do this for ages. I I could just do this for ages. Oh my god, that's so cool. We're walking on our little pedestrian pathway here.
And oh, look at that! Now we're now we're going somewhere. We're going places. <laughs> that is so cool. I love this game. To be honest, if only this game came out before SimCity, I would have a lot of a lot more fun. God, man, that, that's just so cool. You can just like be one of your citizens for the day, and a lot of people are. Um, conglomerate or people, a lot of people are gathering around this area right here okay so I want this to I want this path to continue onwards for another onto this side of the city um, let's see how are we gonna how are we going to approach this so I think we'll have a pedestrian path here running alongside this train line. It just looks cooler having it run alongside the train line, I'd say. Uh, we'll, we'll have it just run completely parallel and we'll have it meet up over here. So now we have this little thing, although I want to change this to uh, I want to change this to having pillars because uh, having just a floating platform doesn't seem too realistic. So at least give it some pillars, you know what I mean. But to be honest, it, it really doesn't matter because we look at we look at it from above anyway. It's not like we can see the pillars or anything. So this side of the city we're going to have it hooked up as well, and we need this to actually go somewhere. Because if we just have it, um, if we just have it like that, it's not really going to serve any purpose. So I think we'll have it cross here, like so, and we can have this loop around and connect up to that. Okay. Um, where else should we have it? Over here. There's a nice little pedestrian path, so I think we'll we'll drop this down right here and then connect this up like so. So people now can walk through and forth. Um let's see here. So so this road already has a pedestrian walkway, which means we don't need to put one here uh, anymore. Which is okay. Um, how else can we improve this little thing here? Looks like there's a lot of people over here um, walking, so I think we'll we'll use this as an advantage. Um, all right, we're gonna have to demolish this building right here, which I apologize for, but good do what you gotta do to run your city well. We'll run this across right here and then we'll drop this down around here. Although, make it overlap and so we can draw like so. Oops. Okay. So let's let's see here. Are people gonna use this little road thing? I mean, it seems like people are using it. I guess little by little. Yep, there's a big section walking there. Man, I really like these pedestrian paths. How you can actually see people walking on them in in SimCity. Uh, you could see people walking, but it's not not as a uh, not as cool as this, I'd say. Okay, so there are people using this path. We should have a path that goes into this area of the city because not a lot of people here are going anywhere. Looks like. Then again, we already have this hooked up, so I doubt we really need that. 
But this is this is the main attraction right here. All the people. Let's uh, let's follow someone again. Where where are you going? The company. You are unemployed. We have unemployment in the city, so we gotta really fix that. Whoa, lady, stop looking around. Okay, this is getting really annoying. We need to find someone with a more stable head. I think this guy, Taylor, Tyler Lee. Yep, more stable head. So how does this look from here? Oh, that's interesting. This this also has a a pedestrian path right there. Oh, this is this is a good, a cool little site here. This little bridge. You know, from above, when you're making a city, it's just like, mm, you know, it's it's okay, I guess. But then, when you're actually down and in, in, like, when you're actually down in the city, you're looking from the ground level, and you're looking up, it actually looks quite cool. Up, oh, meeting his little, his bay, his girlfriend right here. <laughs> I see you, Tyler Lee. I see you, Tyler Lee. Okay, enough of that. I think I think that's uh, that's good for pedestrian paths for now. We have a uh, a cool little network running down the city. Eventually, I'll have a pedestrian path uh, going down this way. But for now, that's not really necessary. Um, I I was thinking over on this end, we, we I was going to put a harbor, a cargo harbor, or just a normal harbor. Uh, this is going to be our normal harbor because uh, if you think about it. I think I'll put it right here. If you think about it, people people will uh, come from the train. So okay. So this is this is basically how I plan this little harbor thing to work out. I'm go also going to make a harbor on on this side of the city, and um, you know, I don't know I don't know how harbors work per se, but I I would love it if uh, people would use this harbor and and travel to the other side of the city you know kind of like those tourist attractions you'd find in New York City where uh, people cross the river in order to get to the other side and, and stuff like that and maybe we could have a little Statue of Liberty Island right here who knows um, actually that that's a really good idea and okay my, my next tile I think I'm gonna buy that tile right there so we can make a little statue of liberty liberty uh, tourist attraction there yeah it's gonna it's gonna look really nice it's really gonna look really nice but the main idea here is people from our tourists from the region they're gonna come in through harbor and they're gonna take the train over here maybe take the metro uh, to the little area over here it's kind of the plan um, mass transit is a big, it's kind of a really big focus in the city because I, I want people to be able to go from point A to point B, uh, with a little, which as little effort as possible. So we'll connect that up there. Um, okay, um, you know, people could drive into that. I really don't care. Okay, so uh, we need a little pedestrian path going from here to the train station because that seems a lot really convenient for them. Although, actually, the road itself already has a pedestrian path, so I don't think that's really necessary in this situation. Uh, how does this even work? Passengers come and go outside the city by ships. I don't know how this works. How do I attract more tourists? We have 51 tourists per week, which is kind of weak, but okay, okay, I'll take it. Uh, I think if we put some attraction here on this side, I think it will increase the number of people. That's a pretty cool tower, actually. I, I like that. The Gula CN Tower. A lot of a lot of these things that I have here, these landmarks, I downloaded from the workshop, so they they, they kind of look really nice. Uh, let's let's have another statue. We'll put it. Can we put it here? You see, I I kind of want to get rid of the cemetery. Um, to be quite honest, I think we'll put it right here. We'll have the famous statue of wealth right in front of the dick butt, the dick butt statue right here. 
Oh man. I love the statue, man. This is this is this is never gonna this is never gonna leave. It's always gonna be here. The dick butt statue. It's the most symbolic statue in all of our town. Speaking of our town, we don't have a name for our town yet. It's it's still Springfield. I wanna rename it soon. Although could we even rename yeah we can rename it. But uh, I I don't know what to name it. So if you if you guys have any suggestions on what to name the thing, please leave them below. Up oh, here comes our first shipment of passengers. The tourists. Um, where were you? So I don't get this. Why are these guys coming out? Oh, a random car. Okay, a tourist. Yes, here we go. Here are the tourists. Here they come, guys. Okay, that, that ship is just, just went AWOL. What? Let's see. Where are you going, Stephen White? Alright, you walk too slow. We're gonna, we're gonna speed this up a bit. Up oh, and the uh, camera got all messed up. Going to Plaza Park. Okay, so we are going to, um, okay, not take the train. Are we going to take a metro? Yes, we're taking the metro, guys. We are taking the metro. We're waiting for the metro right now. And there we go, to the metro. Oh, well, alright, never mind. He didn't get out of that stop. I'm assuming he's going to get out of this stop. Yes, there we go. The tourists in our city walking about. I feel like this whole episode I've been just following people around. Okay, so that's that's how I intended this uh, little train metro station here to operate. So what, you get out one and then you can get into the other one. I think I need to boost the budget for metro because there is a lot of people. Actually, I need to boost the budget for buses. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, people waiting over there and I don't think the bus is going to come anytime soon. So I think I'll make another bus depot. And we are going. Okay, this is the place where tourists usually go. This is the tourist attraction right here. So anyway, uh, that's uh, that's pretty cool. But I think that would be the end of this episode. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, but uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed that, please leave a like and a rating, and. Uh, and comment and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.